hello students today we are going to study the second chapter in geography that is let us use the graticule in our previous chapter we have already studied about graticule the parallels and meridians on the globe form a net is called a graticule today we will study how to use graticule students can you see horizontal lines and vertical lines on this yes graticule is a network which can measure the geographical locations by using a scale it can describe as a grid and there are several measuring units available for scaling graticule a common example of using graticule is measuring the long longitude and latitude on a map students open your textbook page number 10 and observe the figure 2.1 now question number 1 what are the horizontal lines on the globe called here in the figure you can see the east to west lines drawn over here so the answer is the horizontal lines on the globe are called parallels of latitude now we will move to the second question but before go to the second question just observe this world map here we can see the continents and oceans and some words are written in red color and some are with black color can you tell me how many continents and oceans are there okay fine i will help you to identify it students the words written with red color are continents and the words written with black color are oceans here we have a list of continents and oceans there are seven continents they are africa antarctica asia australia europe north america south america and five oceans are atlantic ocean arctic ocean indian ocean pacific ocean and southern ocean got it students now the second question is list the continents and oceans through which the equator passes answer is you can see on the map three continents circled with green color they are the continents which passes through the equator they are south america africa and asia and the oceans which passes through the equator are pacific ocean and atlantic ocean now the third question is encircle the intersection of 0 degree meridian and 0 degree parallel on the globe just have a look on this figure here we get the answer for third question students you can see two lines which bisects the earth into two parts in north northern hip to northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere and western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere here 
you can see the red line that is intersection of 0 degree meridian is prime meridian and 0 degree parallel on the globe which is with a local law that is equator. Now before we move to the fourth question just have a look on this figure here you can see the world is divided into four hemispheres. In the first figure you can see the equator divide the earth into northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere and in the second figure you can see the prime meridian divide the earth into western hemisphere and eastern hemisphere it means there are four hemispheres along with that we will move to the fourth question which oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres you can see two oceans are circled with green color they are pacific ocean and atlantic ocean so they spread in all the four hemispheres fifth question which continents are spread in all the four hemispheres you can see the continent of africa which is circled with pink color it's the answer so continent of africa is spread in all the four hemisphere sixth question is at which two parallels do all the meridians converge answer is all the meridians converge at the north pole and south pole children when we talk about various places regions rivers roads etc we are actually talking with reference to the earth the location of place the extent of a region and the extent of any linear feature can be described precisely with the help of parallels and meridians. So in this lesson let us see how to use the graticule for all these purposes. Thank you.